Okay, I start out with a two by two by 20, that's this guy. And I find the middle of it, both this way and this way. And then I use this jig and I cut it. When I get through cutting it, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I now have it all clamped together in that frame that it was in. And I, I'm going to lift it up out of the frame so the glue that eases out of the bottom of it don't uh, stick to the wood because it's already, all I needed was to get it even, even this way, this way, length. Now leave it alone for 24 hours and then we'll do the next step. Bye. Okay, I'm uh, using a regular type on premium wood glue. I'm going to put some on uh, one side of this joint. I put about uh, I put about that much, and then I spread this out. And I I find the easiest way to do this just use my fingers. It it washes off really nicely. If you get it off before it dries, it comes off really easy. If, it, uh, if you wait for it to dry, uh, it takes a little longer. And then uh, instead of putting a, a spread of glue on, I'm just going to put this together like this with the piece I'm gluing it to, the piece that's inside. I already had glued one side. I just wanted to see how I was doing this. And I sp spread this evenly on uh, both pieces so they got glue everywhere because because if there's some of it you know anyway I get some more of this heavy over here get some more of this over over there and put it over here so that everybody has glue everywhere you don't need a lot but you just need some everywhere but I get that. I get that glued so that both pieces have glue everywhere. And I'm going to put them together. I'll be back. Okay, so here I have the two pieces that I cut earlier, right down the middle. There's the middle. And this piece of stuff that I cut out that's really one saw blade thickness. And I put it in between these two. I'm going to put this back together with it like that. And I have this little jig fixed so that when I get finished putting this together, it's as long as it was to start with. Otherwise, this gets out of whack. That side's farther out, this farther in. Now it's, uh, it's this side's farther out, this side's farther in. But if I have this just right, I put this line across there. I adjusted this guy on the end to make it the right length. And now I can glue that piece together like that as the next step in the process. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so here I have the two pieces that I cut earlier right down the middle, there's the middle. And this piece of stuff that I cut out, that's really one saw blade thickness. And I put it in between these two. I'm gonna put this back together with it like that. And I have this little jig fixed so that when I get finished putting this together, it's as long as it was to start with, otherwise, this gets out of whack. That side's farther out, this farther in. Now it's, uh, it's this side's farther out, this side's farther in. But if I have this just right, I put this line across there. I adjusted this guy on the end to make it the right length. And now I can glue that piece together like that. as the next step in the process. I'm going to do that now. Okay, so here's what I ended up with, this little piece that I cut off the edge of that piece. And uh, 
I'm going to show you how I use that in a little bit. I just want to show you how I made that. It's about that thick and it's about two inches this way. And then I cut it this way. So I end up with pieces that look like this. When I get all done, this particular piece is Brazilian coffee wood. I bought that at a specialty shop and made these to use. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. I'll be back. Okay, I got this set up so that I uh, have uh, this, piece, this piece hitting against this little notch of this piece and this piece against the fence so I can push this piece through the saw that's cut very close. Saw not running right now. And I end up with this little piece here that I'm going to show you when I get through. I'm going to finish cutting and I'll show you some more. Okay, and this piece is my next jig. And what I've done is uh, I set it up so that it was uh, in there so that this edge just barely went through the saw. You can see that this is thicker here than it is here because I went one saw blade there. And then, then I cut this off straight so that I can use this in my saw up against the blade with uh, the fence set up the thickness that I want another piece to be. That's this piece right here that I've made without having this fence and it was a little tough to do that. But I set this up so that I tighten my, I get my fence set where I want and I take this piece out and, and put my jig piece back in there set it up so I'm using this is what I'm going to saw a little piece out of to show you what I'm doing. I have this little I have this little notch here to keep it from coming back so I can use this board to push this board through the saw blade that's very close. And uh, I'll stop in the middle of this and show you what I'm doing but I don't have enough hands to do this all at once. Okay, there it is, right through the middle, and the angle here is uh, 10 degrees. And uh, that's not some magic number, it's just the first number I came up with. And I made this jig by just, I sliced down through it and I cut so I could use that to push the, push the piece through the saw blade like that. Okay, so I do that again. <clears throat> the piece is set in here. Get it back here. Get it back here. And I push it through the saw blade like this. While the saw blade's turning, of course. But not very safe, but it is, uh, I'm very careful when I do it. I don't want to show you that, and I'm not going to show you that I'm doing it because I don't, I can't hold the camera and do that. Then I do something else with a piece of wood. I'll come back later with another video. Okay, there we go. I got it set up again, just like yesterday. Only I got the two pieces in it crossed away now, and they glued up there to keep it. You see the smear that run along the bottom. That's why I lift it up like that to keep. Keep this from being glued down to my jig. And speaking of jigs, you can buy all these jigs, but I just make them out of stuff I got around the shop. And I didn't show you how to make them. That's your problem. You figure that out. Okay, we did pretty good. Okay, we did pretty good. We got uh, the two the two pieces put back together with this brown piece in between it. And uh, we're going to do something else to it now. But this bottom needs to be cleaned off a little bit. And uh, I got a little bit out of whack. This one's not as low as that one, so there's a little notch there. I'm going to run it through the uh, joiner planer to get this bottom back to level. And then we'll do something else. I'll let you know. Okay, now the 24 hours is up. And uh, we're... 
take it out of the clamps and see how we did. Okay, I got these uh, these little edges cut off here, and I've uh, marked the middle of it uh, this way and this way. That's a little mark right there. And I put it in this jig, and I measure across to figure out where... Uh, hold still. Across this to see... Where to put my fence? I want the fence at six and three eighths from from here to this edge of the saw blade, six and three eighths, not the middle of the saw blade. It's just it's just so I cut this down through the middle of the board. I'm going to shut that off, cut this, and show you what I've done after I've cut it. Okay, I can't quite make that work. I have to I have to take this little edge off here and I'll do that with my band saw and this, likewise up here because I can't get it in in against this guy with it the the way I have it. Okay, I got the, both the both sides of it leveled out the way I want it. And this is the one we started with. There was the middle to begin with and this is the way this is the way I had it in the, this jig to start with. But this time, I'm going to turn it over so it's this way. And we're going to make a cut down through here. And I want to be so that it cuts through the center of this piece this way and this way. So I have to mark that off. And uh, and then what I do is I measure from from here over to where the center is to set up the fence between this side of the saw blade and the fence. So when I cut, I cut right through the center again. I'm going to shut this off and do that. Okay, I got the I got this bottom leveled out really good, and I need to level out this top too. When I uh, when I made these pieces, I need to level out this top too. When I'm when I made this brown piece, I made it a little bigger than this guy, because it wouldn't be good to have it smaller than this guy, because then that would reduce the size of my end product. I got this all leveled off. Now I need to level this off. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know, cut this little piece off here. I can either do that with my bandsaw or the planer. I think I'll do it with the planer joiner and then we'll pick up from there. Okay, you can see that I cut this baby right there on that mark where I had it. And now I have these two pieces again like this. And I put another brown piece in between. Using this same jig that I had before, I put another piece. I put another piece of the brown stuff, th this, in here that's really the same width as the saw blade, so that it should come out when it's all said and done to be a pretty close to the same length as it was to start with, which makes it the right length across. Now I just glue this and let it set for another 24 hours and then we'll pick up from there. One of the key things that I have to keep in mind is that this line and this line need to intersect properly. So they don't that way and if I have this the right length then then it runs right straight across there instead of hitting up there or down here or farther. And uh, having this jig with the two stops on the end, it's the same length I was to start with, is pretty much what it takes. I, I don't know whether you know it or not, but I, I use, I mean, you could probably buy some jigs to do this, this the angle thing and this, but I, I'm going to show you this because I want you to see. I'm going to take this apart just here to show you. I use these old scraps 
out of my shop. And as you can see, I've done this a whole bunch of times. When you make a project, if you get it right the first time, if you want to be able to say, I do this right every time, then you better quit. Because the next time you do it, it's going to be messed up. And personally, when I do a project, I have to do it about 10 times before I get it even close to right the first time. I'm going to stop talking now, glue this together, and wait another 24 hours and we pick it up again. Bye.